In today's video, we will talk about control charts and project management. Control charts illustrate how a process behaves over time and defines the acceptable range of results. Control charts are used to determine whether or not a process is stable or has predictable performance. Typically, control charts identify upper and lower control limits to determine the acceptable range of test results. When a process is outside the acceptable limit, the process is adjusted. Control charts can be used for both project and product life cycle processes. There are some aspects of control charts which I will describe before getting into preparing the control chart using Microsoft Excel. The most tricky part here is the upper control limit, lower control limit, upper specifications limit, and lower specifications limit. Most of professionals cannot differentiate between lower control limit and lower specifications limit. In a nutshell, the specification limits are defined by the customer, while the control limits are defined by the process itself. You are allowed by the customer or the project owner to go up to the specification limits, while you as the organization define the control limits using the process itself. This chart is prepared for concrete compressive strength testing. In order to not make this sheet crowded, I have put the specifications limit in a different sheet. But you can use it in the same sheet and in the same table. In here, the upper control limit is 4200 PSI or pounds per square inch. That is the maximum compressive strength that you have obtained from your process. And the lower control limit is 3800 pounds per square inch. These values have came out from your process, while in the specification limits, your customer has defined for you that your upper specification limit should not be higher than 4,300 psi, and the lower specification limit should not be lower than 3,700 psi. Let's get started and let me show you how to prepare a control chart using Microsoft Excel. I will use the same data that I have used for this control chart. In order to plot the control chart, we will go to Insert, and from there, we will select from the chart the 2D line. Once you select the chart type, go to the chart area, right-click, and select Data. From here, we will click Add. In the series name, number 1, we will click the upper control limit. Then, we will select the series values, which are these ones. And click OK. On the horizontal category access labels, we will click a date and from there we will select the test names. Click. Next, we will select the values for median. And here in the series values, we will select all the values, click OK, and for the series name, we will click the name itself and click OK. Next, we will select the values for the lower control limit. And here we will select the name and in the series values we will select the values. Click OK and OK. Finally, we will add the test results. In the name we will select the test name and in here we will select the test results. And we will click OK. Now we will add the upper and lower specification limits. To do that, click Add, go to the specification limits, click the name here. For the series values, we will select the values and click OK. We will do the same for the lower specification limit. We will go to this sheet, select the name first, then for the series values, we will select the values under the lower specification limit and click OK. Now a little formatting will be required in order for this chart to look like the chart that we have prepared in here. I will make the size a little bit bigger and then I will change the values on this axis. Click on the axis, right click, go to Format Axis. The maximum value 4400 is OK. For the lower value you will write down 3600 in order for our chart to look symmetric. 
Let's remove the axis names, both horizontal and vertical. And I will remove these lines. Now the data points in here should look in bigger and the values should be represented on the data points. To do that, right click on this line and we will go to Format Data Series. And here we'll click Fill and Line and we will select Marker. In the Marker options, we will select Built in and the type should be a square. We will increase the size. And furthermore, we can change the fill color. Let's select Solid Fill and select a dark blue color. That's OK. Moreover, we should plot the data label names on these points. To do that, right click, Add Data Labels, and click Data Labels. Once that is done, right click on the data label and format data labels. From here, we will select the series names and the value itself. In the separator, we will use new line so the values come under the names. In addition to that, we will add the names for the upper control limits, upper specifications limits, and all. To do that, right click on any of them, go to add data labels, we will select add data labels. Now right click on the data label, format data labels, we will select the series names and we will remove the value. Finally, we will leave only the names at the end of the line. We will remove the other ones. To do that, double click on any of them and press delete. We will do the same for the others. In order to bring it to the left end, from here from the label position, we will click left and you can do the same for the rest of them. I hope you liked the content of the video. If you did so, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thank you very much for watching.